For visual design, there are two ways that you can add content into Canvas from YouTube. The first way is going to be the link, and this is the easiest way to do it. And the second way is an embed, which I believe gives a little cleaner look to the video and places it better on the page. But both functionally work the same. So let's take a look at these. So this is the first, and you can see that we've added the link in, and then Canvas automatically generates this, which it will play. Um, and the same thing, the second one is the embed, but it gives you a better uh, visual icon of what the video is about. You can add titles and whatnot, and it plays in the widescreen format that it's supposed to play in instead of a square box. So let's take a look at how both of these are done. So in the first example, when I'm editing a page, it's as simple as making some space, going to my video, clicking share in YouTube, and then just copying the share URL and pasting it. Now it's important when you're in Canvas to hit return and you'll see that it automatically recognizes this as a YouTube video. So if we were to scroll down and save, you can see here it's added the linked video and we can click and students can play that. However, let me go ahead and edit the page. I'm going to remove this again. And here's an important tip for this. When we're embedding the video, when we're using HTML, we're going to be looking at the code. And code can be a little tricky to uh, visually look at. So what I like to do is wherever I want the video to appear, I'm going to add a bunch, a bunch of spaces. So when I go to the HTML code, what we're going to look for is a bunch of these NBSPs here. These are non-breaking spaces. So this is that whole area and we're going to actually use the center area to put in the code that we want. So for an embedded video we go in here and we're still in the share area but we want to click on this embed. We're going to say show more. Now here we get a lot of options with what we want to see. The default size 560 by 315 is very good for using in Canvas. Um, one of the items that I really like is that we can remove suggested videos when the video finishes. We want to show player controls or we can also show title here which will show when the piece is loaded which is a good thing to have. So those are a couple items that I like to have. So once you've got everything the way you want, we simply grab this iframe code and copy it. We go back to our uh, HTML here and we paste this in. And then we can go back to Rich Content Editor and you'll see that the spaces are in here. Now we can remove the spaces and it's a big gray box right now and that's exactly as it should be because it's not loading the content until we save the page. So let's go ahead and save. I've removed spaces. And here you can see that video will embed much better, has the title on here. Um, some of the things that you might want to do uh, for videos is add the title up here and maybe some runtime information. You could give the link to it directly and just make a link above, but that way the students are knowing what the video is, even though it has the title on there, and then also runtime. So that's a more clean way that you could put in a video in Canvas using the embed.